This video, technology permitting, will be on how to tie a D-loop. You can see this one showing a little bit of wear, and so we're going to replace it. And while I'm doing the handheld portion, I want to draw your attention to the position of those two knots. You see how the little burned or melted points fell right into those little notches right there? Now that's successful. And you don't need really big knots. You just need enough that they'll nestle right down in that little saddle it makes. Because if you don't have them, they'll slip right on through and you'll end up zapping yourself in a jawbone. And that's no fun. So I'm going to have to try to shoot this on a tripod. And hopefully I can keep it focused while it does. This is an autofocus camera and I don't have any provisions to manually set it. The tools I anticipate needing are a pocket knife. You might use a razor knife, a tape measure, some stock D-loop string, a pair of scissors, and a flame source. Now they make a professional D-loop pulling tool, tensioner type of tool, but I don't have one because I'm parsimonious. Now you can try to untie this or to slip this away if you can, and you may or may not be able to do it. I'm going to cut this off and I'm going to do it in such a way that I'm not going to damage my string. I have the sharp edge of the knife away from not even touching my actual string itself. I'm just going to, on the D-loop string on the knot side, I'm going to pull this and I'm just going to try to cut it like this. So that the back of the knife is touching the string, but the sharp side of the knife is is a sixteenth to eighth of an inch away from the actual string itself, the actual bow string. And that will help keep me from cutting my string. Do you see how that worked? My close-up doesn't work real good because my camera won't focus. And I'm going to do the same thing with the other side. Now, I'm not trying to insult anyone's intelligence, but you'll do two knots exactly the same, one top, one bottom. And it gets to be a little bit of small work, so I'll do the first one really big so that the camera hopefully will pick up how the knot, how the string passes as it goes around and back on itself. It's essentially about like a, a half hitch. And then we'll do a film edit and I'll do the other side myself. But you take the string around. And see how that works? You take the string, you run it around, bring it in front of, run it behind, back around the front, and back through the hole. I don't know how to best describe it. Go behind the string, come around in front of the string and below, come behind the D-loop string, around the top, back in and tuck it underneath. And when you're finished, you should have the long piece next to the knock set and the short piece next to the top part or, or the camera or your idler. That's, does that show up on camera well? I won't know till I put her together. Okay, I hope you can see. I have very little loop actually here. It can, in fact, if you prefer, you might actually even have it flat. Because when we fuzz this up, we're going to unravel it. And we're going to melt it, and then we're going to blow it out and push it to make our little knot flat. And same thing on that side. And what will happen as we draw it, 
this will creep just a little bit and that knot will stop right there in that hole and so it'll that the D loop will stretch a little bit now if I had some of them fancy special little pliers we could torque them down real nice and tight and uh, we get all the tension we need all at once but we can do this this way and so far it's not done me any harm you just want to make sure that you have this fuzzed out so that when we light it we don't first of all we don't burn this piece but we're actually able to stop it before we get there without damaging this piece blow it out make our little ball mash it flat do the same thing here and then we'll have our our stops now the only tricky part is melting the ends and if you want you can take if you're very sensitive if you're afraid you're going to melt something or damage your string you can always wet your piece right here now what we do I'm going to mush this back out of the way try to keep my hand ahead of the camera and hopefully everything will do alright I'm going to light this one And now we've made a little, a little melted stop. And I'll do the second, second one right there. And maybe without being on camera, I'll be a less camera shy and it'll work a little better. And that's all we have to it. Now when we pull it, it should pull them tight. And if you want to, you can loosen them a little bit by hand and ease them around to the proper position to kind of shorten the amount of tightening that you have to do. So how about that? And when we pull her and draw her back a few times, we'll set those just perfectly. And there you have how to install a D-loop.